So I recently moved from Windows to Mac. And one of the things I love about macOS is the quality of the apps available for the platform. Seriously, there are a ton of great apps for macOS out there. So I thought, why not share the most essential Mac apps with you guys? Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to talk about some of the must-have Mac utilities of 2019. Do note that I'm not including popular apps such as Alfred, Better Touch Tool, etc. because you probably know about them. Anyway, before we start, I suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Okay, so the first app here is called Unclutter and it's one of my favorite apps on macOS. Let me tell you why. So when I started working on this video, I was looking for an app that moves files easily. I was looking for a clipboard app and I was looking for a great notes app. Well, then I found Unclutter, which brings the functionalities of all of these apps in one app. With Unclutter, all you need to do is move the mouse pointer to the top of the screen and scroll down, which opens up this pane. You can even use a keyboard shortcut for this. Now, in this pane, you have the clipboard, which shows you everything you've copied, so you can use it quickly. Then there's the Files tab, which lets you move things easily. So I can just move a file or folder here, and from here, I can move it to wherever I want. It makes things super easy. Lastly, there's the notes, so you can jot down any ideas and get back to them without any hassle. Yeah, I love this app and the functionalities it offers. Unclutter is available in a free trial, after which you'll have to pay $10 to get the full version. The next app on this list is called Cheat Sheet, and it's for people like me who have a hard time remembering keyboard shortcuts. I mean, keyboard shortcuts are great, they make things faster. But if you want to know all the keyboard shortcuts, you have to go inside buried menus and things like that. Well, Cheat Sheet fixes that. With Cheat Sheet, whenever I need a keyboard shortcut and I don't remember it, which is pretty much all the time, I just press and hold the command key and Cheat Sheet brings me all the keyboard shortcuts of the app I'm in. Just look at this. I'm in Chrome and I can see all the shortcuts now by using the command key. Yeah, it's pretty handy. Cheat Sheet is a free app, so you should definitely check it out. Next up is a media player app that I really like. It's called IINA Media Player or INA Media Player, I don't know. Anyway, it's a great alternative to the average QuickTime player on the Mac and the very popular VLC media player. So first of all, this Mac-only media player looks great. I mean, it's clear that it's designed specifically for the Mac. Secondly, it can play almost any type of file out there and brings a lot of great features. There's dark mode that looks great. It automatically finds and downloads subtitles and it has gesture support. You can use gestures to control volume, scrub the video and play pause and all of this is customizable. IINA Media Player is a free and open source media player, so yeah, it's worth a try. Moving on to another great app, Night Owl, which is an app you need if you want more control over the dark mode in macOS. So dark mode in macOS is great, but if you want to toggle between the light and the dark mode, you can only do so through system preferences. Well, with Night Owl, you can quickly toggle between these modes like this. Yeah, this makes things easy, right? Plus, you can schedule the dark mode to turn on with Sunset, a feature macOS Katarina brings. That's not all. You know how some apps just look better in the light mode? Well, you can set an app to work in the light mode always. Night Owl is available for free, so you should definitely check it out. Now, before I move on to the next app on the list, there's one app I want to talk about. It's Clean My Mac, our sponsors for this video. So Clean My Mac 10 is a Mac tool that you must have. It has plenty of useful features, but let me talk about the ones I like. First up, I like the Smart Scan feature which shows you the junk you can delete from your Mac, any privacy issues your system might have, and recommendations to speed up your Mac. I also like the malware removal feature, which checks your Mac for any malicious files. And there's the uninstaller feature, which shows you the apps that are unused, leftover files from removed apps, so that you can remove apps and their files completely. I also like the Space Lens module here, which shows you the largest files on your Mac in this cool looking map. And this definitely gives a better idea of what's taking up the most space. So as you can see, the trash is taking up the most storage on my Mac, so I can quickly remove it. Lastly, Clean My Mac X shows the large and the old files, so you can free up storage quickly. It's really handy. Well, Clean My Mac X is a must-have tool to clean, protect and speed up your Mac. And it's available in a free trial, so you should definitely try it out from the link below. Moving on, when I switched to the Mac, I missed the ability to quickly snap windows and compare camera samples and do a lot of other things. And while there are a lot of window manager apps, I was looking for something simple. And that's when I found Spectacle, which is just the perfect app for that. It's just a simple app that lets you snap windows to the left, right, upper left, lower right, basically anywhere you want with a keyboard shortcut so that you can multitask with ease. I generally use it to use two apps side by side and it's so intuitive. 
and I like the fact that all of these keyboard shortcuts are customizable, so I can just set things to the way I want. Plus what makes things perfect is it's free. Amazing, right? Anyway, if you want to snap windows with a touchpad and you want more controls, you should check out other alternative apps from the article in the description. So the next app on the list is called Itsicle and it solves a big problem for me on the Mac. So in Mac OS, you can see the date, the day of the week and time on the menu bar. But unlike Windows, you cannot just click on it to open up a calendar and that is annoying. I know you can use the calendar in the dashboard, but that calendar does not have any features whatsoever. Anyway, so Itsicle brings a menu bar icon that shows you the date and the day of the week. But unlike the Mac OS icon, you can click on it and see the calendar. Now that's better, isn't it? Now I primarily use it to check the dates and stuff, but you can even add events here and it shows the events you've added in macOS's native calendar. It's great and what makes Itsicle even better is that it's a free open source tool. Okay, so I'm bad at organizing my files and my laptop is a mess. And well, that's where Hazel comes in. An app that really automates file organization on the Mac. The app lets you set rules you can apply to organize your files. So as you can see, I have set a few rules for my downloads folder. So the app will automatically sort files according to these rules so that things are more organized. It's awesome. Plus with Hazel, you can set items in the trash to delete automatically and also keep the size of the trash in control. Yeah, Hazel is a super handy app. It's available in a free trial and for the full version, you'll have to pay $32. Another great Mac app is Flume, which is the Instagram app you need on Mac OS. I know you can use Instagram web, but you cannot upload photos, you cannot DM. So yeah, it's pretty limited. Flume, on the other hand, is a gorgeous Instagram client that brings everything you need. You get your feed in a column or a grid view. And as you can see, there are different tabs on the bottom. So you can upload a photo or video from here, check out the explore page, search for things, check your notifications, your messages, and your profile. Yes, this is a full-fledged Instagram client for Mac that I love using. And especially because of the beautiful interface. Flume is available for free, but the ability to upload photos and use multiple accounts are limited to the pro version, which is priced at $20. Moving on, if you own a Bluetooth headset, you would know that connecting it to the Mac is a pain. Yes, yeah, sometimes the headset auto connects, but mostly you have to connect to it manually by going through multiple options. Well, this is where Tooth Fairy comes in. This is a tool that makes connecting to Bluetooth devices on the Mac super easy. With Tooth Fairy, you can create separate menu bar shortcuts for different Bluetooth devices, so you can connect with them with just a click. It's really handy, plus you can customize these shortcuts to see details like the battery of your headset. It's really great. Tooth Fairy is available for $5 on the App Store, but it's worth the price. So with all these apps, the menu bar can get pretty crowded, right? Well, there's an app for that as well. I'm talking about Vanilla, which is a tool that frees Mac OS's menu bar from all the clutter. So once you install it, you can just move the icons you want to hide inside this dot mark and that's it. You can now just use this button to hide the icons and make the menu bar clutter free. Now I know there are apps like Bartender that bring this functionality, but Vanilla brings the basic ability to hide menu bar icons for free. So yeah, there's that. Well, those were some amazing Mac utilities I wanted to recommend to you guys. You can check out each app from the article in the description, which also features free alternatives and better alternatives to each app. So yeah, make sure to check it out. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who use a Mac. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.